Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the Ochroisk from the Parkmore selection. It's seven years of age, quite young, 46% ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored and priced in the mid 30s. So it's quite cheap and it's a, well, a not that well known whiskey. The Parkmore selection is a selection from an independent bottler uh, it's called the Aceo, Aceo company, uh, A-C-E-O, and Parkmore is uh, or was a distillery in Dufftown, the capital, the hidden capital of the Scotch whiskey industry in the Speyside. Uh, Rome was built on seven hills. Town was built on seven stills and the Parkmore distillery was closed down, shut down nearly a hundred years ago. I have a picture of it. You see the Parkmore distillery in the background and it's still used f uh, with the uh, warehouses for maturation of whiskey from the Dufftown distilleries and uh, well they take this Parkmore now for the name of their range and well, this whiskey has not only uh, a maturation in bourbon casks, but as well in Madeira casks, uh, which is this uh, Portuguese uh, island in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, Madeira is quite a spicy, fortified wine. It's fully oxidized. They have a heating mechanism in their fermenting tanks. Uh, so it's quite dark and so you see after seven years in this uh, finishing uh, in the first film at Ericas, you, you get some color in it. And uh, yeah, uh, Altmore uh, Ochroisk, the city of Ochroisk, isn't that well known uh, in the or among the distilleries uh, because it's working for the well, for the blended whiskey industry, most of their output is going there. There had been some Ochroisk in the past, which were filled as original labels, but they are not very popular. And so this Ochroisk, Ochroisk is one of the very few you're able to get your fingers on. Yeah, how to open that? Hmm. Here, here we go. No? Down here, up there, yes. That's strong, really. So here we go. Very tight cork, very good cork. So I have a smell. Mm -hmm. Light, fruity, floral. This light, whiny Madeira note. Mm, stronger fruity and a light alcoholic note. Yeah, 46% and only seven years of maturation. You're able to, to smell the alcohol. So there is a reserve in it to dilute it a little bit with tap water. A little whiny here. Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A very typical space cider, intense on my tongue, strong cask influence, Madeira, no bitterness because it's only a few years old and uh, shows this whiny, lightly uh, spicy, little bit of tobacco probably. The aftertaste, middle long, vanishing now, little cask influence stays on your tongue. Yeah. Mm. 
it's a pleasant sipping one, but I would suggest you add a little bit of water to it. Otherwise, the alcohol is too strong for this young whiskey. Yeah, with 46% ABV, you have the reserve uh, to add a little water. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.